Yo, what's good, Prestige community? It's your boy Dino Robs HD here. Now, I'd just like to say, check out my channel in the description if you guys do enjoy my content that is uploaded to PMHD's channel. But yeah, guys, enjoy. <laughs> Yo, what's good Prestige community? It's Zav or PMHD here. We're hosting our biggest giveaway ever. Four modded accounts and six free gift cards of your choice. There are 10 winners to enter. Follow the steps on screen. Yo, what is going on everybody? Dino here. I hope everyone is having a brilliant day as always. Now today we're all confused if the director mode glitch was going to go ahead and get patched. It is not patched. It is actually still working. So I'm going to go ahead and take the time to make this video um, we're trying to, I'm going to try to like, explain how to do and save all the vehicles for free uh, in GTA 5 Online. Now this is only working for the PlayStation 4 unfortunately, there is no workaround for the Xbox on to save it. So I'm sorry for you guys that are watching this and playing Xbox. Stay, stay tuned on the channel and maybe I might come out and you never know that. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is go to a single player character. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the SP to MP glitch as well. Because in the last, my last video you guys were getting a little bit mad. That I actually didn't go ahead and show you guys how to do the SP to MP glitch. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do to do this SP to MP glitch is go to your single player character and find a peyote plant. And I'm going to use this peyote plant right here, uh, right behind me, uh, to start off with this glitch. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is get any sort of cop wanted level where the cops do go ahead and shoot you. Okay. Now from there, I tend to use five star cop wanted level because it is faster, to be honest with you. And the cops do kill you a lot faster. Once you've got a five uh, star wanted level, what you want to go ahead and do is eat that peyote plant and turn any sort of animal, it doesn't really matter what you turn into, in the gameplay I turn into a bird or some sort of looking weird ass creature. Uh, you can use anything, you can turn into a dog, a cat, a mouse, anything like that man, even though you can't turn into mouses, but you can turn into anything, it doesn't really matter. Now the purpose of this, I'm going to speed up a little bit because it takes them a little while to kill me. So what you want to go ahead and do is let the cops kill you, okay, so as soon as they kill you, you want to bring up your PSM button and you want to go ahead and join a recent activity that takes you to GTA 5 online. As you see me doing the gameplay right now, I'm going to go to my activities and join a recent activity that takes me to GTA 5 online. Okay, so there's two activities, there's one that takes you to GTA 5 and there's one that takes you to GTA 5 online. You just want to scroll through there until that one takes you to GTA 5 online. So like a bounty or something like that or purchase clothes or purchase vehicle, you know, something like that or restyled. I don't know, depending on what it is. What you guys or your friends do into the game, but you know, whatever your friends do, as long as you go on your recent activities and then go ahead and join a friend through your recent activity, okay? Now I've got them right here, so you want to go ahead and start up GTA 5 online. You'll get this notification, accept it. Uh, so as soon as you accept it, you want to go ahead and bring your home button again, go to your network settings, and turn off your uh, your internet on the PlayStation itself, okay? From there, go back to the game, and you'll get an alert screen after the white screen has disappeared. Accept that alert screen. And simply from there, go ahead and put your internet back on and pretty much sort it from there. So that is the SP to MP glitch. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, from there, you'll load into a single player character. Uh, listen out for that. You'll like, or you can click pause. As you see me doing the gameplay right there. And you see my Franklin. You want to go ahead and call the cops on you again. As you see in the gameplay, I've got the cops in the room. Go ahead and call five stars, three stars, or whatever, call, uh, whatever amount of cops that you want to use. So like four stars, one star, whatever. Now let them kill you. As soon as you kill you, as soon as they kill you, you'll hear it in the background. Join a recent activity that takes you to GTA 5 online yet again. Okay, so you're back into story mode. Get the cops on you. Once they killed you, um, you want to go ahead and join a recent activity that takes you to GTA 5 online. So I will have the cheats to the PlayStation, uh, the cop wanted level in the description, uh, raise and lower. So both in there if you need to use it. And so yeah, once you've joined that recent activity, you'll come back to GTA 5 Online, you'll get a uh, uh, story, story mode, sorry, you'll get a alert screen, accept it, and you'll be in an infinite loading white screen for like, I'd say about 5 minutes, depending on how long your good connection is. And what will happen eventually, I'm going to speed it up a little bit, you will spawn into online as either your online character, if you're your online character, you'll need to do the glitch again, so go back to story mode and do the cops and you let them kill you during a recent activity. If you spawn into online, like this, as Franklin, you are good to go. So from here, what you'll need to do is find a different priority plant, not the one we ate, because that will be disappearing. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is find a priority plant. And I'm going to show you right now that the money glitch is actually not frozen at the moment. As you see, the money went down by a turn to ammo on there. And all you want to go ahead and do is find a priority plant to save this money as frozen money. Okay, so you want to eat that priority plant. 
your controller will vibrate when you go ahead and eat that peyote plant. You won't turn it into any sort of animal like that. So it's pretty straightforward, okay? So once you've eaten that peyote plant, you will have then have frozen money. All you want to go ahead and start find yourself doing is I'll show you right now that the money is actually indeed frozen by bringing it over in the extra menu, go into ammo and try and buy some ammo or something like that, you know. So I'm gonna ahead and try and buy some ammo right here. As you see, it is completely frozen. All you want to find yourself doing is going to start and finding a brand new session. Now the reason for this, that will spawn you as your online character in an online session just like this. As you see, my, my money is still completely frozen. If it isn't frozen for you guys, you have messed up somewhere. You'll need to do that again, okay? But you should be sorted to go. You should be still frozen money just like this. What you want to find yourself doing is heading over to your CEO uh, building. You will need to have a CEO building. If you don't have one, have a friend invite you to his. It's the same way, okay? It doesn't really matter. You can't own your own CEO building. If you don't have your own CEO building, get your friend to invite you. Now, as you always know, you will need to have the most, uh, the, the amount of money that you want to buy. So if you're going to buy a yacht for like 5 million, you'll need 5 million to buy it or over like that, okay? So you keep worry, your money won't be going anywhere. But uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So you'll need the same amount of money or a little bit more over the price of the vehicle. So I say I'm going to buy a Vigilante, which is like 2.2 mil. I'll need 2.2 mil or over in my bank to buy it, okay? So from here, go ahead and spend in Spreeman. Go ahead and buy every sort of vehicle that you want. doesn't really matter. Um, you cannot buy properties, um, houses, and you know, all that sort of facilities, uh, hangers, and stuff like that, okay? So if you're going to go ahead and buy aircrafts for your hangar, uh, do that, that's fine. Now, Pegasus vehicles uh, automatically save, so you won't need to change anything with them, anything of them around once you go ahead and bought them, so they'll automatically save. Um, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Go ahead and spend in spree right here. So go ahead and buy every single car that you want to use. Uh, you can go ahead and buy a brand new car which has come out today, in fact, which is the uh, second is it? Second of the first, 218, uh, 2018, sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Tron bike. So keep in mind that I actually bought the Tron bike and I'm gonna go ahead and deliver it to Eclipse Towers. So keep in mind that it's actually in Eclipse Towers. Now I'm gonna speed the gameplay up a little bit. You guys can go on a massive spending spree, buy any sort of vehicle, make sure you go ahead and put it all in, same, in one garage. If you're gonna go ahead and put it all in different garages, you'll need to, it'll take a little bit longer to save these vehicles, okay? So I recommend go ahead and buy the Luxos because they sell for 2.8 million a piece. So yeah, awesome. So go ahead and fill your garages up, whatever cars you need to buy and all that good stuff, man. So pretty much from there, you can go ahead and buy the San Andreas websites, the yacht even. Uh, the yacht's different. Uh, you need to buy the yacht. Uh, to save that yacht, I'll tell you later on in the gameplay what to do on that, okay? So if you're going to buy hangar stuff, you need to have a hangar. If you're going to buy um, vehicle like uh, the phantom wedge you'll need the vehicle workshop you know all that kind of stuff you need all that stuff man so okay awesome so again so once you go ahead and bought or finish purchasing whatever you want to go ahead and buy you're going to go ahead and back out the laptop and simply just go ahead and wait for the notification in the bottom left saying the cars have been delivered to your garage or your your apartments okay now once you've got a notification you want to head over to the apartment that is you've purchased or put the car in and you want to go ahead and go over to the slot the blue circle and simply just move the car around inside the garage. You know, it's, it's not that difficult really. So just go ahead and swap it with the car next to it. Uh, I tend to swap it around a couple of times, like three or four times in different spots. That's what I tend to do. Okay, so you need to go ahead and try and save it just like that. So go to the blue circle, select the vehicle. Like I said, we're using a brand new vehicle that came out today. Go ahead and select it around right here. Just go ahead and select it around, move it around like four or five times. That's what I recommend doing. And then yeah, make sure you move around every single car inside there that you have bought new. If they're old, you don't need to matter. It doesn't matter if you move them around. Just make sure you move around the brand new vehicles. And once you've finished moving around, you want to go ahead and force a save by changing your outfit and getting the circle uh, in the bottom right -hand corner. But again, you want to go ahead and go to any all your apartments that you bought new vehicles in. So there's a Tron bike right here in my Eclipse Tower. You want to go ahead and move it around. You know, make sure it's saved like that. You know. And then when you go ahead and finish doing that when all your apartments, so your CEO garage, all that kind of stuff, all you want to go ahead and do is force a save by changing your outfit. Now it may take a while because the servers are actually quite bad at the moment because Rockstar actually are trying to patch this. So I will let you know if this is patched in the comment section. I put it as my pinned comment once it is actually indeed patched. So as you see in the bottom left it's failed to save. You just want to keep trying that out until you get the full save right there. Just keep changing your outfits now and again and eventually you will get that orange circle in the bottom right okay so what you want to go ahead and do from there is put your spawn location as last location and head outside your apartment we're going to do the method to save all this that okay so 
So I've gone ahead and saved it all with the orange circle on the bottom right. I skipped past it, but basically that's what you got to do, okay? So what I recommend doing now is going to your videos or your YouTube and make sure that's on the home screen right there. Don't click into it yet. What you want to go ahead and do is double tap your PSM button to go back to GTA 5 Online. Head outside your apartment or your garage or wherever you're in, the CEO office. And all you want to go ahead and do is kill yourself, okay? Now as soon as you kill yourself, like immediately as soon as you shoot yourself in the head, you want to double tap the PSM button and host up um, YouTube and suspend application as fast as you can. Now if done correctly, head back over to GTA 5 Online and you'll see a character on the floor right there and you'll get an alert screen. Accept that alert screen, you will spawn back into an online session. Just change outfits around a couple of times until you get a force uh, loading screen right there. It took me quite a while again to, to, to get that circle at the bottom right. And from there, move around your, your bike or your vehicles again in different slots like three or four times. Then go ahead and change the outfit yet again to try and force that save, okay? And from there, I need to do exactly the same as last time. Go over to your other apartments where you bought new vehicles. Try and force a save and try and move all the vehicles around. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward, guys. It's pretty, it's not difficult at all. Um, move the vehicles around like four or five times. And then awesome, sorted to go. So once you go ahead and do it in every single garage, go ahead and put your spawn location as last location. And you're going ahead and force a save. Uh, all you want to go ahead and do is close your application by going to your PSM button, your uh, GTA 5 Online and closing the application. Just like you see me doing the gameplay right here, okay? Or suspend the application, sorry, Jesus Christ. Don't close it, suspend, suspend the application, sorry. So go to YouTube again, just like you see me do here. And when you're back into a GTA 5 Online session, you get a load screen, accept it, and you will spawn back into an online session and all the vehicles should be saved. If they're not, you've messed up somewhere. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward though. But you should have an all that save if you follow this gameplay right here. So again, try and force a save out and move the cars around for the last and final time. And then uh, you're pretty much sorted to go from there. So I've gone ahead and moved them around already and I forced have saved already. It took me like what, I think like 14 minutes as well. So I cut that out because it'd be a long ass video otherwise. But go ahead and try and force a save. Uh, you'll see it in a second in the bottom right hand corner, a little orange circle that has been completely saved and hopefully we're done to go so yeah what you want to go ahead and do is from there is when you're finished moving around your pegasus vehicles so if you, if you put a few like pegasus vehicles or your vehicles and if you bought anything in your um your facility you want to move you want to drive them out and drive them back in and change a plate or something like that and same for the hangar and move around the aircraft change the color of it and then back out and from there once you've finished and once you're ready to once, once you're done sorry you want to go ahead and just yeah, close your application i see in the gameplay and once you've loaded it back up once the black screen comes up you want to hold l1 and r1 to synchronize your game and once the um, the uh, brightness screen actually does come up uh, you can let go of the l1 and r1 button and continue there from on on to single player and once you get to single players go into an invite only session and you're pretty much sorted to go so here is my online uh, online player now i've gone back to from single player to online and there the glitch is done so you can check you if you bring your phone the glitch is no longer working so the frozen money glitch is no longer active and as you see i took my mechanic right here i go to my eclipse towers and you see i have the tron bike which was completely free and it's pretty fucking dope guys so later on in, in a second i'll show you my money uh, it is actually it's still the same as last time and we haven't spent a single dime and it's pretty dope man so this is the working glitch still it is still working after the most recent patch of 1.41 after the new updates on tuesdays so it is still working excuse me and i'll have a tron bike in right now so that's basically it for today's video guys if you did enjoy the tutorial it helps you in any sort of way drop a like subscribe and turn post notifications we do upload the greatest and latest gt5 content on our channel boy so yeah guys Thanks for watching, me boy Dino, signing out. Don't be a boy, I know you hated it. Hey, shorty, you way too bad for me not to hit. Yeah, whole city love me and it got me lit. Yo, what's good Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.